Hello YouTube, my name is Lane Linton, and today I'm going to be doing a vlog up with, we got Yay. Malachi Jordan up here. Yeah, Malachi or Dan, 517, or, Fortnite channel, hit me up. Got Benton Washam up in here. Uh, the fag in the Nike hat is RJ Mashad. Um, like I said, he's a fag. We're taking a field trip up here to uh, what, Natchitoches, Natchitoches, Louisiana. Walk to a museum. Benton. Benton. And, yeah. All right, all right. Back now, it, yeah. Just, just walked into the building. Right now, I'm, ooh, ooh, I have to go, I have to go watch some, some kind of documentary thing. I want. Shut up. I can vlog if I want to, RJ. I'm vlogging. Freedom of press bag. Alright, All right, dude. Let's head on up north. Yeah, I have to do it. Uh, yeah. Boy being retarded forgot his phone. Who? Hey. I forgot his phone. Is that his phone? Yeah, he forgot his phone in this thing. <laughs> you good? But, yeah, no, I'm just recording, bro. You ready to be turn around, Tyler? Tyler, ooh, go add her on Snapchat. I'll put her Snapchat, like, somewhere around here, maybe. Put it in the description, I can put it wherever I want to, Benton. I'm putting it in the video, at, like, right here, maybe. Back of your head, Benton. That's where I'm putting it at. Got Elizabeth Sherry, Jolly. Ooh, look at her. Supermodel. Wannabe. Didn't do my arm is so tired holding this phone up. Okay, if you want it. Some tartels. Some tartels. Some tartels. Yeah. Some tartels. Some tartels. Yeah. Ooh, dude, your air is gonna be clean. I don't know. Oh wait, are you giving out some turtle facts, Benton? Oh, I like me some alligators. Come on, Benton, give us some alligator facts. That's all facts I have. What the alligators hibernate mm -hmm. when the water's cold? Alligators are green. That's a fact. <laughs> actually, no, they're actually black. They're like they're skin. It's not green. RJ, we just made a new meme. What? Alligators are green. Rowdy's head. Ooh, burn. No, like rowdy's head, like it was rowdy's head. Alligators are green. <laughs> alligators, dude. The way the face he made though, when every. You're already wore out with that. No, my legs hurt from running a mile. Oh, crap. Wesley! Wesley! Welcome to the phone to be Oh, no, bro. Dude, y'all have his phone? Y'all have his phone? He thought he left it. Dude, they stole his phone. Ooh, look at this. They want to be on YouTube. Ooh. Ah! Ooh, YouTube. Ooh. Okay, we only get like two views, so. <laughs> you just start using your back camera because you listen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen Wait, listen to what? Me. Me. Because, no. No. I told you. Uh, no, no, I use back, I I use back camera because I was trying to record him and record the rest of this. Well, you know, your, your vlogs your, will look a lot better. When yeah, you I know. Your camera, camera, your head's like taking up most of the frame. <laughs> Awesome. But I have to keep it covered during the rain, so. Um, and it finally quit raining for today. I'm using your for a second. Our cannon's a six pounder, and whenever you, whenever you hear a cannon, it's a six pounder, a three pounder. They're not actually talking about the weight of the cannon. They're talking about the weight of a projectile that comes out. Y'all ever seen the pirate movies? Yeah. Okay. When 
the cannons roll out the side, your six pounder is almost always the one on that top rope. It's actually designed to help clear the decks and take out the rigging or the main mast. All right, because if you knock the sail off of a sailboat, say it again, sir. It ain't moving. So what can you do then? Board it. Board it or run circles around it and force them to surrender, which is preferable to boarding because then you got less chance of being dead. Uh, <laughs> they actually had two cannon like this, and they would have been on platforms in these gun bastions. As we go into the fort, you're not going to see walkways or parapets or any of that kind of stuff. They defended the fort from the corners. Because from that protrusion, you can actually see down the far wall over there and this wall. From this one, you can see down that wall and this wall, so forth and so on. So all you really need to do is put guys in the two corners. Does that make sense? And so they put their cannons on platforms in there because you want elevation for range. Does that make sense? Our cannon is out front because when we used to do cannon demonstrations, when it was on a platform in there, all y'all really saw were our tools coming up, cannon barrel roll out, boom. When we had to repair our, our platform, we just went ahead and moved the whole cannon out front so y'all could see everything we would do when we do firing. I can't fire it today because it's a five-man crew and y'all got me. <laughs> now, this is the west gate. Spanish Texas is seven miles west of us. Los Adeas, the first provincial capital of Spanish Texas, is 15 miles west. In our video, they made it out like, oh, there was a bunch of illegal trade, even though they weren't supposed to. For the first three years, yes. Do different countries have different laws? Yeah, so the French might have a law that the Spanish law is different, right? Yes, sir. When it comes to trade, for pretty much everybody but the English, the French were open trade. They wanted to trade with everybody. The French and English basically never get along. Except for like World War I, World War II, then they get along. Uh, um, <laughs> But before all that, they don't really get along. So up in New England, there's illegal trade, but it's not open trade. When the Spanish first set up Los Adeus in 1721, Spanish law said there was no trade because they wanted to control the flow of goods throughout the New World. Does that make sense? Because if you control the flow, what do you control? The money. You nailed it right on. But if the way the French supplied their forts was they would load up a ship and say, you're going to Fort Deschartes. So that whole boat of trade goods is going to that one fort. Does that make sense? Because they're going along waterways. The Spanish would create big long convoys. And so it would start around Mexico City and then work its way 1,506 miles all the way to Los Adeas. And so, if it gets to her trading post first, which Spanish law, women could have trading posts. Let's wait on Natchitoches to be quiet for a second so you can all hear me. There is a bridge right over there and a bridge right over there. So all the sirens are right there. Okay. Okay. So if she has a trading post and the supply train comes up and she ordered 20 axes, she can crack open top of that barrel. All right. Uh, sorry for having the, this is probably a very boring vlog today. Um, right. I am. Just gonna give you a little rundown about myself. My name's Lane Linton, uh, if you don't know already. Um, 15 year old, goes to Obethel Christian Academy in Clarks, Louisiana. And uh, our school is very small and uh, just taking a, a field trip to uh, Natchez, Louisiana. And right now we're at a Spanish museum. 
trying to learn a little bit, I say learn a little bit, uh, about, I guess, some Spanish and Natchitoches history. And sorry, this vlog is probably going to be, like, super long because this is my first vlog. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do daily vlogs. I'll probably do vlogs every, I think, Wednesday and every Wednesday and Friday is probably where I'll do vlogs. But, yeah. Um, also, sorry for poor quality of audio and poor audio and video quality because I don't have a vlogging camera yet so right now I'm recording off my phone and everything's probably gonna be really shaky because I don't have a stabilizer for it and my arms are very tired right now so that's what I'm about to do right now I'm heading off to my vehicle had to get away from the group right now come get some my shades because I cannot see Jack. And yeah, I'll come back to y'all guys in a minute. There are six rooms with eight soldiers in each room, plus a warehouse keeper and a commandant. How many soldiers in the fort? Math. Yeah. Does it look like I do math? Exactly. Hey, um, math teacher, answer. <laughs> Have you had your coffee? Because I have. I haven't. <laughs> I use 48. Wait. Somebody say it over there. Smart one over here. No, you're still wrong. No, I'm wrong. I know. Okay. It's not 50. 48. How many soldiers were listed? 48. 30. 33. Soldiers. Zero. Say the example. There's six rooms. Six rooms. 48. How many bedrooms? 48. 48. That's in the barracks. Plus a commandant and a storehouse keeper. 50. 50. And you said at the very beginning it housed Why do you say that, sir? Because the warehouse keeper wasn't a soldier. Yeah. Oh my God. Where's that at? It's 49. You mean you actually yeah. listen? I'm so proud of you. RJ. He nailed it. You're dumb, but when you are out of school, you're smart. Why are you smart? The warehouse was not a soldier. He's the only civilian in the fort. He worked for a company. He did not work for the military. He got it. Get my hands. First kid in about three months. <laughs> Miss Junior, just give him three months and he'll do it. How many would be uh, necessarily in each room? We need some right. mail. He got some right. <laughs> Could be nine. Could be eight. All right. Now, when y'all go in, it's a communal bunk. So if there are eight guys in there, and it's night, you're gonna have eight guys lined up. In reality, however, at least one of them will be on guard duty. Malika, what you think of this? Interesting. <laughs> it is a little. Ooh. <laughs> now this one, guys, is really short. It's kind of a walk in and look see. See how it's set up for day to day life. The next one you can actually walk into. Oh my gosh. I've been trying to work out a way to activate a motion sensor so he just turn his head. Yeah. I don't know. And each guy would have had his. I mean, look at Lane. Huh? Boy, shut up. Actually, we were like. We all, all the guys were below their, uh, the little, this here, piece right here. We, we skinny. Like that piece right no, there. Yeah, that picture is this much from it. Lane's is this much. Exactly. No, it's not. Look. I keep mine in consideration. Oh my gosh. I keep mine in consideration. She said mine is like this much away. <laughs> but you can clearly see it's like the same. Alright, comment down below. Is Malachi sagging? <laughs> Am I sagging? <laughs> Nope. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you get that on video? I that boy got a sock on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, dude. They, they sleep really close together. Yeah. Oh, dead body over there. Oh, that's actually a person in there. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all walk in and look in here. This is your office. That corner is here. Two to a bunk. Get a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> nah, cause the same thing, bro. Huh? 
Dang, dude, imagine walking in them things. Yeah, no, you're not. Wait, where's some beer? Oh, I love that beer. Actually, pretty decent place. Not like I know one calls you Big Poppy. <laughs> When this was built, this was built in 1979 following the original blueprints of the fort. When the Americans got here in 1804, they said there was nothing left usable of the old French fort because during the Spanish period of Louisiana, they controlled everything from the Mississippi to the Pacific Ocean. They build what's present day, or start what's present day downtown Natchitoches. That's not French, that's actually Spanish downtown. French downtown was down over here. Um, and they quit using it at some point, and let's face it, it's a gigantic wooden fort in Louisiana. How fast do you think it would deteriorate without a peak? Real quick. Um, so this is all only about 40 years old. All right. Now, y'all have any questions? Anything you've seen? Barracks or anything? Uh, shoes. Go ahead. Wait, are we going to talk about the shoes? The, the shoes they wear? Or, like, are they one. wooden? Go grab one. Oh, go grab one? Okay. <laughs> No, I can't. We know you can't. Your foot is. Look how big your feet are, dude. Automatically, y'all think of these as a pair of Crocs. Wooden Crocs, right? Uh, you adults might think clogs. Crocs are plastic clogs. Clogs <laughs> come from Holland. Holland. During war, I can, like average every day, I can automatically tell when somebody had a family member in the European theater of World War II or was in the Marines in the Pacific theater of World War II. Because they will refer to these as either clogs or the Okinawan name, which I'm not going to repeat because I will butcher it. <laughs> I, I, I admit it, I cannot do the, it's just, I can't. Uh, my redneck brain does not compute that. Uh, <laughs> these are actually used all throughout Northern Europe, Russia, coastal Chinese, coastal Japanese, and the Asian, Asiatic islands like Guam and Okinawa. Think of them like snowshoes for mud. You're not going to just put them on and go walking around in them unless it's been raining. All right? And you wouldn't just shove your foot in there. You would actually wear some areas that actually had specialized uh, clo uh, thick cloth shoes or woolen shoes. Out here, very typically, they would just wear Native American moccasins and slip their foot in it. So if I were coming to your house, sir, you know, let's say we're just going to have dinner one night. It's been raining. I'd wear these right up to your front door, slip them off, and step in. So what am I not bringing into your house? Mud. 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 So smart. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I can whip one, a, a pair of these out in about three and a half, four hours. I have seen guys in San Antonio and Minnesota where it was a grandfather, a son, and a grandson. Grandson would rough them out, the father would shape them out, the grandfather would hollow them out, and the pair I own, I watched happen in 20 minutes. Wow. I can make you a dough ball in about 30 minutes. 
These take a specialized skill set and a particular type of auger that existed then that I cannot create now. <laughs> All right, would you run them back, please, sir? Sure. All right. You might need to wear some of those. They keep stepping in it every time I say one. <laughs> I take it he's your shoe say. guru. Yes. Uh, Him and uh, Nike hat over there. Uh, I'm not sure she would. She called it. Yeah, I can't be called it. Come on, guys. They used to care about the shoes. So my uncle's better. Okay, I'll stick out of it. Oh, oh, she got the J's dirty. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, that was good. I thought it was a mannequin for a second. Watch out. No, I'm going to get back here. I need to chill yeah, actually that is. Okay. That is okay. perfect chill. Because my mom and my sister yeah. have chairs like this in their house. Yeah. That's actually brain tan gear skin. Mm -hmm. What is that? Is that a deer? No, it's a chair. Um, <laughs> Y'all ever heard of tanning a hide? Okay. Tanning is short or kind of technically slang for tannic acid. You're applying tannic acid to a hide. And what that does is it kind of chemically stabilizes the old cells. All right. The you know what the highest concentration of tannic acid is? Tea. Oh. Brain matter. Huh? Brain matter. Okay. Every mammal on the planet, be it a mouse or a blue whale, has enough brain matter to tan its own hide. That's cool. Anybody ever told you, like, mother, grandmother, father, I'm going to tan your hide? Yeah. Uh -huh. Think it through. Nope. Oh, whoop my blood. Oh. There you go. Um, I'm going to make white. Yeah. No, I'll tell you, you're black. <laughs> I, exactly. It's me so hard to make me white. Because after you soak leather, well, basically you take the brains, you mix them up in water, stir it up real good, get your solution. Then you take your hide and soak it. Depending on the type of hide, thicker hides take longer. Then you take it out and you stretch it and you break it. You actually think of it like overfilling a, a, a balloon. Right at that point before it breaks, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing to the whole thing because you're stretching and putting space in between those cells. So that when you oil it or apply something like meat, like meat oil, it will stay supple and rehydrate those cells. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So when I say brain tan deer hide, what did we use to tan it? Brain. Brain. All right. Now I promised y'all physical science in here. Yeah. <coughs> Walls are eight inch thick mud. Is or is not this building insulated? Very much yes. Yes. Because mud is a natural what? Insulated. Build walls. Literally, right? Put your hand on the, the rough part of the wall. Let me clarify. Is it cold? Yeah. Cool. It's, it's, it's cool. cool. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look, at that. look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at that hand. Look at that hand. These are really cool. Dang, look at those fingers. The West. These in here are really cool. Ow. You know the cool. Uh, I remember. These in here are cold. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, sorry for the cutoff about the dude. Ooh. Oh, RJ. My bad, bro. Um. Uh, sorry about the cutoff. Like I said, for the um little dude, it really wasn't as interesting to put on a vlog. So right now we're on our way to go eat at. Where are we eating at? Last year. Last year. Last year. We're, we're today. going. My name's no. Catherine. Don't. And you should like totally like go follow me on the gram. No, no, no. This Con is my problem. Hold Nobody up. ever listens to me. Hold on, no. Uh, hold up. Come, <laughs> come, su come subscribe to me. She says su subscribe to Lane. No, I didn't. Yeah, Don't. subscribe. Subscribe. You say subscribe. Subscribe. Oh yeah, subscribe. Who who else says subscribe? Nobody. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Hey, press the subscribe button twice. Hey, no, no don't. Press it three times. Or, or five. Press it three times. 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 Or five.
press it an odd number of times. Anyways, we're gonna go eat at Last Sion's Meat Paws. That's what I want to put on Kyle. See those doors? Oh, those things. Yeah. I like that house though. Like Y'all, this is my this is my new house, my new crib. Just bought Wait, it. You are such a lie. That's not true. I want that house. Uh, that is my future crib. Look at that exhaust on the truck. So I was like, that cigarette. My lord. <laughs> Dude, that that's how they cut the deep. That's how they cut deep dish pizzas. I like that. look up. Ben, look up. You keep taking it out. What do you take it out, Justin? Are you? Oh, are y'all? Do y'all not speak broke no more? I don't speak broke. That's not his. Yeah, it is. I steeped it. Yeah, steeped it. It only works whenever he's around them. Ben, you must now live with RJ. I do. RJ adopted me. Dang, son. I want to know why we were walking. Oh, yeah, it's vlog. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, dang, son. What is he talking about? Oh, vlog. He knows I'm vlogging. Oh, yeah, I did. I want to like, I want to run back over and be like, hey, yo, man, go subscribe to me. Who are you talking to? My camera. Hey. No. Hey. Get that stupid phone out of my face. <laughs> he did. You don't want to be on the vlog? No, not really. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's going on? Hey. Hey, will that let me vlog in school with my phone? Hey, senor, this is this is our amazing Spanish teacher. Say hi for the vlog. Hi for the vlog. <laughs> huh? Is this left or right? That's right. All right. All right, guys. I don't I don't speak broke. I, as you can see, I don't speak that brokenness. We got Wesley Wesley Humphreys on the vlog. Don't tell uh, them their names. Me, you don't say their first dude. name, last name. I, dude, they already know my first name and last name. They know Tell everyone. Tell them Snapchat. Uh, I go at them on Snapchat. I'll put everybody's Snapchat down in the description. Might put a few people's during the vlog. Don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, get your uh, hit your guys up whenever we get um, to the restaurant. Hello. Uh, cutting in from the other parts of the video ahead of this. I want to apologize for the horrible editing that I've done and the confusion you probably have for watching this video. My editing is going to be better and uh, it won't be, the vlog won't be as boring as today's was. Um, Saturday, uh, I know I'm going different from what I said, Wednesdays and Thursdays is what I'll be vlogging, but <clears throat> Saturday we have our uh, high school prom and I'll vlog that from morning till whenever it ends so hope you guys have a good day and see y'all next time